I have had some people ask me questions about this app that is called Notepads by Matthews. And let's just start it. When it first comes up, it's got these pages. And as the finger says, you just touch a page. Cuts the one you want. Well, we want this one with with these little squares, as you can see. But it's but as you can see, they are square. What you want to do is you click this button in the top corner, and see where it says it's isometric. Well, to make it isometric, this squares only. You got to click off of squares only. And then, see where it says windowed? You want to click off windowed and it puts it on the whole screen. And then, if you click the blue and slide this up, see how dark it makes it? We don't need it quite that dark. But as blind as I am, it's nice to have it a little bit darker. Okay, I got a dot there. I'll erase that. Okay, it went off before I was finished telling you. Now, see where it says columns and rows? When it was square, I told somebody to make the columns twice the number of the rows. But, now I have found out that it is isometric. So, if you'll take this to a 16 and take this one to 16... And then turn your pad sideways and you have isometric squares. And the reason that we did it to 16, I might need to darken the dots a little bit darker so you can see it better. There. That'll show up better on the video. We want to take our color and change it to black. And then we go to this arrow. See this arrow icon? You click it and you go to the straight line. Now when we do this straight line, you can make it as long or short as you want. Now. You can line it up with the dots. This is darker than I'd like it. So I'm going to skinny it up a little bit. There, about, about right there. Okay, and now I put it on my lines. Okay, I want to have it up here quite a ways. Because what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. And when you hit this copy button, it copies it down. But you want to have it right on your on these dots. And we're going to do, let's do a 7, 6. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need, I moved the whole line. You gotta click on this button to shorten it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Okay, right there. Let me move this side down a little. Okay, see, now that I'm on there, if I hit this, and if you have that at 16, it puts it on the next row of lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's do one more so that we can turn this. Now, if this is our top bite on that side, this will be the top bite on that side. So I line that up 
and I put it on the same column as this side. I'm a little off on this. Okay, now that I've got that, I just duplicate it all the way down and kind of watch that you are still lined up. If you get a little out of line, just straighten it up and then duplicate it down. And we want to duplicate it. It's getting a little off. One more. There. Now I want to shrink the line to about halfway between those two dots. I click on the other one. I click on the other one. And that is going to be the bottom of our knot. Now, let's click on this one and let's duplicate it to finish these. That's enough. I run this up to about halfway there. Click off, click on this one. Run it up to about halfway. Click off, click on this one. Run it up. Okay, that's got our bottom, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here, we want to click on that one and bring it. Get my hand out of the way. We'll bring it to halfway to that dot. Let's click on this one. Bring it down. See, so, you no, know, I need to be up halfway between this dot. I brought that down too far. Let's take it just a little bit more. Okay. I'll click on this one. Click on this one. Click this one. All right. Click that one. Bring it down. Okay, this one's a little crooked right there. Not too bad. Okay, that's got our string run. Let's click this one and duplicate it and straighten it out. We want it for the bottom of our knot. So I click it. So I can move it there. There's the bottom or not. So I duplicate it and take this one to the top. I slid off from it. I'm watching my iPad instead of the... Okay, that's pretty good. See how this one's over a little? I can clean that up. Click on this one, clean it up. Too much. Okay. There, that's our string run. Now let's change our color to red and let's go back to here and let's bring that down to about that much. 
let's make it fatter shorten it up a little bit let's make it a little fatter I need to do it where I can see it okay that's going to be our coating and you just move it up here and put it at the top and on the line and then you duplicate it clear to the bottom and duplicate it one more time so you've got one to pick up and take back up put it right there duplicate it down now if you think you're getting off the line a little bit you could sl slide it down and uh, I got one too many, so I'm going to move this one up here. Okay, let's duplicate it. Move it down just a little bit. Now I duplicate it. Move it over here. Change my angle. It's about right. Take it up here. And duplicate it to the bottom. And give it one more so we got the one to move. Should be up just a little. Oh. I'm clicking on the black you gotta click it to where it's red well let's just go down here and duplicate it again okay one more bring it up here bring it down And that did our box. We can go here. We can go to isometric and say blank. And that blanks our page so that we've got a, a clean one. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope that it will help you draw a grid diagram. Thank you for watching.